Hello guys, welcome to my channel Love to Learn. In this video, I want to explain about scheduling with Spring Boot. First of all, without, before going to the implementation, let's understand why do we really need scheduling. Okay, usually every solution occurs from a problem, right? Let's is, uh, discuss about some problem statement and let's discuss how Spring Schedulers will help us to solve the problem. Let's assume there is a X bank which will get data from third party service about customers who need loan every day night at 12 am and there is a microservice which is already deployed that microservice need to pick that data from third party service at night 12 am and process it into customer db so the customer execu customer care executive will call customers who have loan requirement every day morning i hope you guys understand every day night at 12 am we will get data from third party service where our microservice need to pick that data from the third party service and process it into customer care executive dbs we, ha we have some separate db guys from there only customer uh, care executive pick the data and they will call to the customers okay but if you have understood observe here we have a problem at particularly at 12 am only how we can check the database how we can check the database means we can use spring schedulers okay we can schedule our application in a way at every day 12 am we need to check in the database whether we got some data from the third party service or not if we got data we need to process it in that way we can use this schedulers guys okay now let's discuss about rules for using spring scheduler the method which we are using for spring scheduling should have a return wide return type if not, the return value will be ignored and the method should not expect any parameters. Okay. Now, let's discuss how we need to create a project. Okay. I have already created a project, imported it because it is taking a lot of time when I'm making video to import the project, guys. So, what I have done means I have already created a project and imported it. I hope you guys know how to create project. We have to just go to Spring Initializer and we have to create a project. I have added only Spring Web, guys. Have not added any other dependency. Okay. I hope you guys understand how to create a project. You have to just add Spring Web dependency by going to the Spring Initializer and you can just create the project. Now let's discuss some basic annotation to use this schedulers. At the rate enable scheduling. If you want to enable scheduling in our code, we need to use this annotation. Okay, at the rate schedule, it is a method level annotation applied at runtime to mark the method to be scheduled. Don't worry, guys, I'll implement this so that you can understand it very well. And let's discuss about this at the rate schedule fixed delay equal to 1000. In this case, the duration between end of the last execution and the start execution, start of the next execution is fixed. The task always waits until the previous one is finished. Okay, now I will start implementation so you can understand in better way. This is my application, guys. What I need to do is in my main method, I need to add this annotation at the rate enable scheduling. And here I need to create a method for which I need to schedule. Okay, let's say the method name is test and I want to just add some print statement for understanding that it is started at particular point okay let's copy this and let's add the dates here for understanding at that particular time only the method got started okay let's paste it here and let's re rename it let's edit it to exited now what I need to do, I need to add at the rate schedule annotation, schedule annotation to schedule this method. Now let's add this fixed delay equal to 1000. Here 1000 means 1000 milliseconds guys, 1000 milliseconds equal to 1 second. It means for every 1 second this method will be triggered. Let's try to run the application and I will show you how it works. Okay. Okay, let's click on this never ending me again. Let's check the console. Now the scheduling will be started for this method. If you observe, for every second, my method is getting triggered. 
I hope you guys understand. But there is a condition, guys. This method will be triggered after only the previous execution got completed. It means this method will not be triggered for every one second. It will be triggered if only the previous execution got completed. Now what I'll do means I'll add something like thread dot sleep two thousand. It means I want to keep this method waiting up to two seconds to just check the functionality is working properly or not. It means whether the method is triggering triggering for every one second or it is waiting for the previous execution to be completed. Okay, let's check this here. You can observe here the method started at eleventh second. It is completed at thirteen second, and again the execution started at fourteen second. How this fixed delay will work means it will wait for the method execution. From that time, it will count for the fixed delay time. It means here we have given thousand milliseconds, right? Here the method execution completed at thirty first second, and he, from here it will wait for the one second, and it will again start the execution. Okay, it, it means it will always wait for the method execution to be completed, and it will wait for a particular time, and then the execution will be started. Like that, this fixed delay works. At the rate scheduled, fixed rate equal to thousand. In this case, method will be executed at fixed interval of time. Note that scheduled tasks don't run in parallel by default. So even if we use fixed rate, the next task won't be invoked until the previous one is done. Actually, in this scenario, we have two cases, guys. I will explain it one by one so you can understand easily without confusion. Okay, the method execution completed before scheduled time, so the next execution will begin early. Okay, let's understand. Let's replace here fixed rate. Here, what we had done, we are triggering the method for every five seconds, and in between, we are just passing this method for two seconds. One execution is happening. Let me try to run the application. Then you can understand in better way. Okay. Okay, uh, the execution got started the first time, it and it got completed, and it got started for second time, and it got completed. Now I will explain. If you observe here, the execution got started at sixteen second, and it got completed at eighteen second. And you may ask me, you said it will be executed at every fixed interval of time, but why it is waiting for twenty up to twenty first second? Okay. I will explain the difference, guys. If it's come to fixed delay, you can observe the screenshot here. How the fixed delay worked? The method execution started at thirty-seven second, and the method execution completed at thirty-nine second. And the next execution, how it will work means it will calculate last execution time, and it will add plus five to it, and then the next execution will be started. But if it's come to the case of fixed rate. It will not work in that way. It will calculate the start execution time of previous execution, and then at that time it will be executed. Okay, I hope you guys understand. And let's go to the second case. The method execution not completed before scheduled time. So next execution will be waiting until previous execution got completed. Okay. So what I'll do means I I don't want the method execution to be completed before the scheduled time. So I am using six seconds here. I'm delaying this method execution for six seconds. So let's see how it works here. Okay, let's wait for a few seconds, guys. It will take six seconds at least. The method execution was started at fifty fourth second and it got completed now. And if you observe. The next execution got started at sixty second only. Okay, thirteen ten six. Like that it work. It means the method if the previous execution not got completed, it will not begin early. The only the method ex previous execution got completed early, then this second execution will start will be started early. Like that it works. Okay, and let's go to the. Another part: How to activate parallel execution? If you observe earlier, we cannot activate parallel execution by using fixed rate equal to hundred. But how we can do that? How we can activate parallel execution? We have two annotations: at the rate enable async and at the rate async. So, for this class, for this method, I want to enable parallel execution. And what I want to do? I want to use at the rate enable async method. I can select at the rate enable async annotation here. Okay, 
and now for this method as I want to use the parallel execution I want to use a sync annotation here now let's see how it works it will run parallel guys it will not wait for previous execution to be completed let's see it here you can observe the main method execution got started and again this method execution got started it not waited for the last execution to be completed you can observe here two method execution start started and it got executed after that it means here the parallel execution got working okay by this using these two annotations we are able to act with the parallel execution guys i hope you guys understand now let's go to this initial delay what it will de do means when we this initial delay execution initial delay execution will be delayed by specific time given okay and let's try to comment these things and let's use this initial delay here let's put 1000 seconds okay i will explain i will explain you how it will work if you observe okay let me do one thing let me first execute this method without uh, this initial delay then i can explain you in better way okay let me start the application once if you observe the application got started and my method got triggered the application got started at 40 seconds second and again my even my method triggered at 40 seconds second right now let's use this initial delay here wait let me try to use the initial delay and let me try to rerun on the application sorry there is some error yeah let me try to rerun the application now if you observe here the initial initially when the method execution got started it will delay by one second if you can observe it here it got started at application got started at 16 second and my execution got started at 17 second like that it works guys i hope you guys understand it and how to schedule a task using cron expression actually you can uh, schedule this task using cron expression actually if you observe here we can use something like cron equal to six stars here we have six stars the six stars represents seconds minute hour day month and year okay up to now in this tutorial as i want to finish it uh, faster i am just using i want to execute it by every two seconds okay i will show you how i can do it stars sorry star space star space star space star space star here i want to execute by every two seconds guys okay now let me try to rerun the application let's check it works or not if you have so the application is started and even the execution got started it means it is working fine my method will be triggered for every two seconds i hope you guys understand how to use this cron expressions also if you guys like my video please subscribe and thank you for watching my video and please like and subscribe to my channel.